Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any audio on this? Yes, no, maybe. Sort of. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Um, this is Marilyn, and it's the afternoon edition of Welcome to My World. We're going into uh, 2.30 timeline here. Um, and um, we've had a, a kind of a lot of paint drying this afternoon. Um, as far as I'm concerned, crude oil, when it gets like this, uh, if you want to scalp this off of uh, some of these eye zone things, but look at all this these yellow candles in here. Uh, that's what I think is so valuable about this system is it, not only does it give you some trades, but it tells you when to uh, put your mouse button in the drawer, leave it alone, don't touch anything, or move on to a different market that that will give you some trades. But the indices have not been uh, too much better, although a little bit. Um, let's see, this is, well, the, yeah, it, it's taken a while for some of these trades to develop and they don't look too promising to me. Um, I think you probably are going to be expecting some of the same tomorrow. Uh, trading in the morning will probably be much better than trading in the afternoon tomorrow. Friday afternoon going into the Christmas holiday is likely to be pretty slow. Tomorrow morning, we've got um, Canadian news at 8.30, but nothing for the dollar. That Canadian news can have an effect on crude oil. And at 9.45, we have uh, flash PMI, but that's not a, a truly big deal either for U.S. markets. What I would strongly encourage everybody to do when it's slow like this is to get your business plan polished and honed. And if you have not started one now, I would say better late than never. But get your goals written down. Where do you want to be with your trading in five years? And then back it right up. Okay, so what do you have to do in year four, three, two, one, which is next year? Start with year one at the top of your page and break that down into quarters. Where do you want to be at the end of each quarter of next year and what is it going to take in um, resources, in trades, in uh, whatever it is that you, you need to do that job and be profitable then get that all reduced down into one page that's very simple that you can review every single morning before you start. You have no idea how helpful that will be. And once you've, you're committed to that, then it, it, it really starts to happen. So anyway, that, and that's a project because you have to sit down and think. And uh, sometimes that's a little easier said than done. But everything is, it's all up to you. We have all the tools we need at Apex. Uh, some people are looking to upgrade their computers. Some people are looking to um, add to some of their uh, computer stuff. Um, just But make a plan. What is it going to take to get you to where you want to be, and then set about uh, deciding. Daryl has an excellent post in the forum, uh, his 5% rule. He's got a whole game plan laid out. And I mean, that's not set in stone, but it, but it has been it's very effective. And it's worked for a lot of people at Apex. So you might want to take a look at that if you're not familiar with it. It gives you some very good ideas about managing your uh, risk. And also, 
sets up the idea that um, uh, the way he does it, it's every Friday. It can be every Friday or the first and the fifteenth, or you know, you're the you're the CEO of your own little trading company here. Um, but what what's payday for you? When are you going to take some of your profits out of your account and leave some in the account to grow so you can become better? You know, you have more opportunities. And so I, I really encourage you to take the time to do that because the benefit that it will bring to you is uh, I can't tell you how much easier everything becomes when you have a game plan and you don't have to think about it. You just sit there and execute the plan. You already wrote it all down. The other thing I would suggest you do and give some real serious consideration over the holidays, uh, some, a lot of people have time off from work and things like that. Get your trading space really organized. Get rid of all the stupid stuff that you don't need. Um, somebody did that. I, I talked about this once, I don't know, about six months or a year ago or something. And somebody took the time to do that and then they posted in our room that they had no idea how much more focus they had once they'd done that. And they had no idea how much distraction, uh, little sticky notes all over their computer and little uh, pictures and, uh, you know, 19 pencils. I mean, how, how, many, how many pencils does it take to write something down? Just get one that works. Put that in front of you. That's your trading pencil. Um, but little things like that so you're very, very organized and all you have to do is sit there and look at those um, indicators in the markets you want and execute the trades you want because you know exactly what you're looking for. It's either there or it's not. Things become easier. This is called keeping it simple. So um, I will be on tomorrow morning and uh, and through the holidays. Next week is likely to be pretty pretty quiet. Uh, maybe not a lot of volume except um, in the in the morning, but in the afternoon. Sometimes going into the close. Uh, for the indices can be also. And then the the quietness of next week is likely to be offset by a little more activity between Christmas and New Year's because all of the last minute um, people are talking to their accountants about, you know, what do I have to do before the end of the year to make whatever it is they talked about work. So there will be a lot of um, movement in the markets, perhaps not as much in the way we trade here, but keep in mind what the underlying, the underlying of the, um, of the NQ and the TF and the Dow, all in the YM is the Dow, there is a lot of money moving the underlying shares around and it will, it can, and it's very likely to affect these futures. So, um, I think that's just about everything I can think of for today. I'll be back on tomorrow morning at uh, 8.30 and we'll see what tomorrow morning sets up for. So, have a good afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow. This has been my view from my world in Apex land. Brought to you by Apex Investing.